This video was created by Pinwa as part of the special issue of Root and Stem on artificial intelligence and online safety and privacy. What is artificial intelligence or AR for short? Well, AI allows computers and machines to mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities of the human mind. In simpler words, it allows machines to think like a human. AI is all around us. This type of technology has made life a bit easier for us and has made certain tasks simpler. Siri, Alexa, and Google Home are all examples of AI that you may use in your day-to-day -day lives. Have you ever driven somewhere and had to use Google Maps to find the best route to take to avoid traffic? That's a form of AI too. Have you ever set up your phone to unlock with facial recognition or your fingerprint? Yep, you guessed it, that's AI too. AI has made a lot of advancements in the last decade, but have you ever wondered how it started? Who conceived the idea of AI? When was it first introduced? Well, the story of AI is full of trial and error, ups and downs, overcoming hurdles and perseverance. Let's dive into the history of AI. Starting with the year 1940, World War II era, when computers were first used to decipher codes. The computers back then looked a lot different from what we see today. It was in the 1950s when mathematicians and philosophers pursued the idea of artificial intelligence. The possibility of computers being able to think or process information at a higher level, similar to humans. Back in the day, the term artificial intelligence was yet to be coined. Alan Turing was one of the many scientists working on AI. He was a young British polymath who believed that because humans use reason and the information around us to solve problems and make sound decisions, computers could possibly do the same. In 1950, Turing designed a logical framework that he called the imitation game. The applications of this framework allowed machines to think and apply reasoning to solve problems in the same way that humans solve puzzles. Turing's work was a major milestone in AI. The Turing test is still used to this day to test the intelligence of the machines. Fun fact, did you know that Siri is not able to pass the Turing test? In order to pass, Siri would have to be able to convincingly carry out a conversation and be able to generate its own thoughts, something Siri is unable to do. Fast forward to the year 1956. Three scientists, Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, and Cliff Shaw, designed a computer program called the Logic Theorist, which mimicked the problem-solving skills that humans possess. They presented their findings at the Dartmouth Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence conference, which was hosted by John McCarthy and Marvin Minsky. McCarthy was the one who first coined and introduced the term artificial intelligence. McCarthy, along with Alan Turing, Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, and Marvin Minsky are known as the founding fathers of artificial intelligence. Despite being promising, the concept failed to capture the general public's attention. But all was not lost. It catalyzed the next 20 years of research in the field of AI. In the 1950s, computers lacked the one prerequisite for intelligence. They couldn't store information. In other words, they had no memory to save data. Another hurdle was the cost. It would cost a whooping $200,000 to lease a computer for a month. Only prestigious universities and big technology companies could afford to dilly-dally in these uncharted waters. In the 1980s, the interest in AI dropped dramatically as a $400 million fifth-generation computer project failed to meet its ambitious goals. The failure of this decade-long program caused a steep loss of investment in AI-powered technology. The project was officially declared a failure in 1992. Today, these fifth-generation computers are preserved at the National Science Museum in Tokyo. Remember we said that the story of AI is one of perseverance. That's exactly what happened after 1992. The fifth generation computer project trained hundreds, perhaps thousands of engineers in advanced computer science. There were setbacks, but as they say, the show must go on. The next breakthrough came in 1997 when Garry Kasparov, a grandmaster in chess, was beaten by IBM's chess computer program, Deep Blue. This was the first time a computer was able to beat a human in chess. It opened a whole new era for AI decision-making programs. Around the same time, 
Researchers at Dragon System developed a voice-generated software that was implemented on Windows. By the late 1990s, even human emotions were fair game for robots as evidenced by Kismet, an artificial intelligence robot designed by Dr. Cynthia Brazil that could recognize and display emotions. The next decade saw astronomical advances in AI and robotics. The early 2000s saw AI take over banking, marketing, entertainment, and almost every other field of life. In the immediate future, AI language is the next big thing in technology. Tools like ChatGPT have taken the world by storm with companies like Microsoft heavily investing in language AI. ChatGPT is powered by a large language model, or LLM, meaning it's programmed to understand human language and generate responses based on large corpora of data. Similar is DALI, a text-to-image program from OpenAI that generated attention from people captivated by its ability to come up with realistic, often absurd, pictures that match people's text description. Self-driving cars or driverless cars are another example of the application of AI. Developers of self-driving cars use vast amounts of data from image recognition systems along with machine learning and neural networks to build systems that can drive autonomously. To learn more about AI and its applications in other fields of life such as medicine, we asked Dr. Akalu, what is AI and how is it used? AI is a, a really rapidly evolving field. Um, and it, it, it is uh, referencing uh, the congruence of a number of different uh, technologies. Um, but uh, essentially, it is the use of, you know, predictive um, modeling, uh, analyzing uh, the analyst, analyst of data that does things that, you know, humans can or, or have traditionally uh, been doing. So yeah, AI is involved with almost everything, every aspect of, of your life. I mean, you can define it as sort of human equivalent machine intelligence. Right? That's, that's what a, a better definition of, of AI. As technology develops, so do the applications and uses of AI. In this root and stem issue, we will touch on different aspects of AI, including their positive and negative effects. We will also learn how to create our own machine learning models in Scratch and Teachable machines that integrate AI. To learn more about the latest issue of Root and Stem, go to pinwa.com.